All right, now that you've seen the final product, we're going to show you how we did it. That's right, we're gonna come into Tinkercad using a toolkit in uh, Google Classroom. You can just open this toolkit up and get started, watch the video, alt tab back and forth. Now I'm gonna come over here to where the ball is. and I'm not gonna show you the entire model that I built, but I will show you uh, some of the major elements and I think it'll be really easy for you from there. So let me kind of spin it around and get closer. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tilt this ramp. I wanna bring it up in the air a little bit and tilt it with the ball. So I need to highlight the ball and the ramp like this with a box. Hold down shift key and control key at the same time and then hit the up arrow like maybe twice. One, two, perfect. Now you'll notice here, you'll notice here and keep them selected, don't click away. You'll notice here that there is a little arrow. If I click on that, you'll see there's a big circle. And if I back it off a little, you'll see the number on that circle. There's like a number. So I gotta back it off. And let's see if we can see that number. It's up away, so you may have to move it a little. Up oh, there it is. This is the number I want. You could you could just turn it manually, but it's easier to type it in. So I'm gonna type in uh, like five, about five degrees, I think. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. You see how it tilted everything five degrees, just that one little step, but it's easier if you type it in. All right, now let's go do work some dominoes. This is ready to go. So if I, if I press the apple right now, all right, and I let it run the simulator, boom, it's ready to go. And I press play, it runs, check that out. It's ready to go. All right, one thing I will tell you is that uh, before you run the simulator, make sure that each object is static. Like this might fall down at first, so you have to make it so it doesn't. So yours might do this. Like you press play and it just falls to the ground and doesn't do anything. So you have to click on it and you have to click up here to the static button. Click that. Now it's static and when I run it, it will stay and the ball will run down the ramp. <laughs> we'll have to make that uh, other ramp static later. Okay. Let's get back to the editor, which is this button here, the waffle. And we're gonna work on the dominoes now. I'm gonna go to a domino, and I'm gonna look at it from the top view. I'm gonna use the fit button to get close and zoom out just a little bit so I can see above it. Now, Tinkercad has what I call a duplicate memory, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna show you how that works. So I have my domino selected, and I'm gonna duplicate. You know that, control D. Now using shift, I'm gonna hold down shift, and I'm gonna use an arrow key to move it forward too, like one, two. Now watch what happens when I duplicate again, right after, duplicate. It remembers the distance. Also, if I click on the angle button, see this angle, this, this arrow, the bent arrow? If I click on that and I put in an angle, I'm gonna do negative 22 and press enter. And then I press duplicate again. Notice it, it continues the duplicate command. So it's really easy to do duplications and to make an entire row of dominoes, just like that, fast. All right, let's see. Now that's gonna get me to my hammer and we're ready to go. Let's, uh, let's get a, uh, another ball though. So I'm gonna take this ball and duplicate it. All right, and then I'm gonna move the ball over to here. I'm gonna get close because I wanted to sit on that ramp and not move when the hammer comes down. So get close and let's just see if we can get it down there. Keep hitting the fit button and maybe the front button because I wanna see it from the front. And then just wanna make sure it sits on that ramp really, really even. That's a really important key here. You don't want it to move until the hammer hits it. Because if it moves before the hammer hits it, that's not gonna be good. So I think we're, oops, I guess it could come down a little bit more. That probably will be good. All right, let's test it out. Let's see what happens. Will, it, will the hammer hit it? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now the hammer does shake a bit when you uh, run the simulator, so just be careful. Let's test it. Here we go. Running simulator, oh, and don't forget to make this one also static, right? Okay, that's static, so you don't want that to move. All right, press play, let's see what happens. Hammer's waiting, here comes the dominoes, bam, ah, perfect. 
That's exactly what we wanted. Perfect. All right. So that's how you do the domino runs. The other thing that's here are the stairs. This is how we get uh, dominoes to go up the stairs, which allows us to change, you know, the the elevation of our of our model. So we can we can make we can hit things like way up here at the top. If I were to put a ball up here, we could do that. So how did I get the stairs to go up? Same way with the dominoes. So I take one set of stairs. I click on it. I zoom into the stairs. Okay, get kind of close, like just about there. Okay, click on the stairs. I'm going to duplicate Control D, and uh, once again using the Shift key. So again, using the Shift key, I'm going to uh, got to get out of the simulator. Sorry about that. I was in the simulator. So duplicate, and then. With the shift key, one, two, three, looks like about three, and then hold on control and shift, and I need to go up, like one, two, maybe down a little. So I'm trying to get this really perfectly lined up, and then once you move it, immediately after you move it, immediately after you move it, let me back it up and show you. I'm just gonna press duplicate again. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. So you can see in just a second or two, I was able to get that that stairwell all the way up to the top. And I put a little I put a little ramp up here when I did mine so that the ball would be sitting and waiting for the dominoes to come in. And then I just put a domino carefully at the bottom and then use duplicate memory and it's going to put the dominoes all the way up to the top. So that when I'm finished, I have a beautiful kit that runs hopefully perfectly. So let's just run that one more time and test it out. This is my finished product. And there's the ball, goes down, hits that hammer. Boy, that was a slow hit on that ball. <laughs> All right, here we go, and it's gonna hit this set. Yes, woo! Wow, that was a close one. There goes the other ball, triggered by the hammers. Remember, those balls have to be level so they don't affect anything. And then the domino is going up, hitting the last ball and score! I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned a bit from it, and can make your own amazing inventions with Rube Goldberg. You do not have to build this model. You can design something all on your own. This was just to give you some inspiration. Thank you very much.